Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Topaz Labs has updated Denoise with two new features. One of those features many of us have been asking them to do, and that is masking. We now have the ability to mask the noise reduction onto our image where we want it. They've also added a low light mode. Now in this short video, I'm just going to demo masking very quickly and show you where low light mode is and how to turn it on. Also, I guess for the next couple weeks, uh, Topaz Labs has Denoise on sale. It's $20 off and my discount code also works. So if you use my discount code, you'll get another $9 off. I'll have all those details in the description below this video. Also, I just want to ask a quick question. Topaz uh, Labs Denoise AI is the best noise reduction software I've ever used, but I haven't used all the noise reduction software that is available. Do you know of anything that is better? If you do, let me know in the comments because I definitely want to check it out. Now, as far as this update to Denoise AI, I mentioned they now have added masking to it. And I have this image, it's at 50%, so it's zoomed in a bit. And I'm showing you the sky because many times we just want to remove the noise from the sky. And if I click with the left mouse button on the image, you could see there's a before and there's an after. So it did quite a bit of noise reduction to the sky. Now, if I want to mask it so it's just on the sky, to turn on masking, just go to the top tool area, click on masking, and you'll be in masking mode. And then at the left, we either could show the noise reduction or hide the noise reduction. I'm going to show the noise reduction. I'm going to turn edge aware on. That way, when I brush around the buildings, hopefully it doesn't actually paint on the building and add noise reduction to the building. I only want the noise reduction on the sky. The size of the brush is done with radius. Threshold is the actual feathering of the brush, and I'm going to bring that up quite a bit. And opacity, I'm going to have it at 100%. I want to add 100% of the noise reduction to the sky. I'm going to get a larger brush. You could also hit the bracket keys. The right bracket key will make it larger, left bracket key smaller. Now, I'm going to start over here at the left. I'm just going to paint right across, and I have overlay on. You could see this little check mark down here, so it's showing where I painted. If I want to turn that off, I could just turn it off and hopefully you could see in the video I have a line of no noise and then the noise is now in this area and if you look down here at the mask you could see how the mask is showing the white line that is um, where it's white it's allowing the noise reduction to affect that area you do have mask options here where you could fill the mask with a specific color um, white black invert it clear it or delete it all together. So I just will continue painting in this general area very quickly. And a little trick of um, using an edgeware brush. Uh, you have that center circle. That's where the opacity is at 100%, but it will gradually uh, go out to 0% as it goes out towards that dotted circle. Try not to let that solid circle touch anything you don't want to effect, meaning at this edge of this building, I don't want to uh, put noise reduction on it. So I'm going to keep that solid circle outside that edge of the building or any building for that matter. So I could just come in and do this. I should probably get that out of the way. It's not going to go. But anyway, you get the idea, hopefully. So you could come in, and I'm not going to belabor this. You could come in and do the entire image and move it around, uh, go from uh, move over here in the navigator, move this little square around so you get every um, pixel of the sky with noise reduced. Now, I mentioned there's another feature. They have a low light mode. It's right here. And if you just hover over the little question mark, it will tell you what it does. It uses a special model that enhances images with lots of color noise. Works well on high ISO raw images with severe color noise. So, um, if you have an image, now this image didn't have a lot of color noise, it just had a lot of luminance noise. But if you have a lot of uh, color noise, and you can tell it's color noise because the little noise dots are colored red, green, or blue. 
or red, green, and blue. And you would just turn that on and then it's going to use a special model to get rid of that noise and it works best on raw files. So uh, remember that if you have any images that have severe color noise. So that's it, that's how you use masking. And when you're done, just go down here and click on apply mask. Now, of course, I didn't paint everything I want to paint and I won't put you through that burden of watching me do it, but that's how you would use masking. And again, in the description below the video, I'll have a link. Uh, you could grab it on sale. It's 20 bucks off for a couple weeks. And also, my discount code is working. You'll save another $9. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.